Hi, I'm Paul Bonadio, a real life celebrant, and this is The Ringwind. Today I'm going to be breaking down Mike and Phoebe's wedding from Friends, and that includes the performance of Joey Tribbiani. Joey's under the scope on this one. Let's see how he goes. Say hello to Reverend Joey Tribbiani. <laughs> You got a redeem? Yeah, just got off the internet. Man, there is a lot of porn out there. <laughs> so I, I think this happened a long time before Joey married Mike and Phoebe, but I wanted to point this out that you can't just get your celebrant license from the internet. It took me like two and a half months of solid part-time study. But he's right, there's a lot of pornography on the internet. I don't know anything about it. I know a little bit about it, I've seen some. Ross, you could have showered. It's the dog. Ross was the funniest on Friends. For me, it goes Ross, then Fat Monica. Fat Monica was hilarious. Normal Monica, mm, okay, but Fat Monica was where it's at. So Ross, Fat Monica, Chandler, Joey, Rachel, Normal Monica, then Phoebes. I know it's a wedding and everything, but she just, she wasn't as funny as everybody else. God bless her. Ready? Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, oh no, wait. Wow. Aren't you going to be cold? I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll be my something blue. <laughs> That's actually something that does happen at weddings where the father can't be there, whether they're passed or for one reason or another, that they'll get someone special to walk them down the aisle. Uh -uh. <clears throat> Friends, family, dog. So something Joey's done there is something that I use up on stage called the rule of threes. So you'll say two things first, and then on the third thing you'll you'll have the punch. He's up to a good start. He knows what he's doing. God bless him. Phoebe and Mike are perfect for each other, and I know I speak for everyone here when I wish them a lifetime of happiness. Who has the rings? Yeah, I know this is it's only a half an hour TV show, but Joey's getting into the ring super quick here. There's not much background about how Phoebe and Mike met and all the funny stories and the few bits and pieces that go along with that. I don't know, I know it's cold out there, but you know, come on Joe, give us something. You're a funny guy, you got second on the list for Christ's sake. Or third. When I was growing up, I didn't have a normal mom and dad or a regular family like everybody else. And, and I always knew that something was missing. But now I'm standing here today knowing that I have everything I'm ever going to need. You are my family. Nice fears, Phoebes. I take it back, it's still funny and that was really touching. And she didn't, usually I have cue cards that I give to couples so they can read off but Phoebes is just going off the top. That's really nice. Really nice for us. Phoebe, you are so beautiful. You're so kind. You're so generous. You're so wonderfully weird. <laughs> Every day with you is an adventure. And I can't believe how lucky I am. And I can't wait to share my life with you forever. Also nice from Mike. He's, he just seems like a good guy. Paul Rudd seems like the sort of guy you'd have a beer with. Maybe he's not in real life though. Maybe he's a real arsehole. I don't know. I'll have to ask him. I tagged him in it, so if you want to get back to me, Paul. Paul Squared. I love you too. <laughs> uh, Joey. Yeah. Chappie's heart rate has slowed way down. <laughs> Again, Ross for the win. He nails it every time. He's timing. He should have been bigger after Friends. I've, I don't care. He should have been, he had that, the Paul Bearer. You seen that movie? Man, that was a steaming pile of shit, that movie. But Ross and Friends, he's the man. Uh, Phoebe, do you take this man to be your husband? I do. Uh, Mike, do you take this woman to be your wife? I do. I'm not 
too sure how different the American Australian weddings are, but in the Australian weddings, you'd need to say your legal vows, which is a little bit more than that. And also Joey, it would be different for him, but he'd need to say the celebrant's authority to make it fully legal. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, geez, he was going great, Joey was, until that final bit. If the one thing with the kiss, you've got to get your head out of the way. You don't want the celebrant's head in the way while the bride and groom are having their big kiss. It's a big faux pas. I get like three meters away. It's like, get out of the way of the shot. Number one rule for a celebrant. So that's the wedding of Phoebe and Mike from Friends. A lot of fun. Joey did a great job. Phoebe, fantastic vows. Mike, just as fantastic. Monica had some good times in there too. It was a good wedding. And that was the re-wed. Mm -hmm.